Welcome to the Muslim Viewpoint, a video podcast powered by American Muslim Today, a national non-profit media platform that provides news and analysis for millions of Muslims in the US and abroad. Thanks for joining us as we take a look at the ongoing political turmoil in Pakistan and gauge global reactions to the situation from politicians, organizations and public figures around the world. The United States has addressed the ongoing protests, emphasizing the importance of peaceful demonstrations and adherence to civil rights. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said, We call on the protesters to protest peacefully and to refrain from violence. At the same time, we also call on the Pakistani authorities to respect human rights and fundamental freedoms. The U.S. Embassy in Islamabad issued a security alert for Americans, urging them to avoid gatherings. In the United Kingdom, the Foreign Secretary David Lamy made this statement. The Pakistani authorities need to act in line with their international obligations and with respect for fundamental freedoms, including the right to a fair trial, due process and humane detention. We have no recent indications from the Pakistani authorities that they intend to try Imran Khan in a military court, but my officials continue to monitor the situation closely. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres Tuesday deplored the violence in the ongoing opposition protests in Pakistan and called for calm and restraint on all sides. The Secretary General continues to closely follow to the situation in Pakistan, including reports on the ongoing protests and the deployment of the military, his deputy spokesperson Farhan Aziz Haq said in a statement. The United Nations Working Group on Arbitrary Detention has recently called for Khan's immediate release, saying he is being detained illegally and in breach of international law. Baba Ram Pant, Deputy Regional Director for South Asia at Amnesty International, said, We are calling for a prompt, thorough, impartial, effective and transparent investigation into the deaths and injuries of protesters, as well as the unlawful use of force, including lethal and less lethal weapons by security personnel. We have no recent indications from the Pakistani authorities that they intend to try Imran Khan in a military court, but my officials continue to monitor the situation closely. In a statement, Patricia Gossman, Associate Asia Director for Human Rights Watch, said, The Pakistani government should uphold the right to peaceful protest while responding to violence with the minimum force needed. Criminal acts should be promptly investigated and appropriately prosecuted. Pakistan's current charged environment is resulting in cycles of violence and counter-violence. It is vitally important that the authorities act in a manner that doesn't let the situation spiral out of control. Pakistan's protests have no winners, said Michael Kugelman, the director of South Asia Institute at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. The country remains burdened by worsening political confrontations that distract from its economic and security crises. You can't keep crushing public sentiment and the public will. It's an untenable policy, said Kugelman. He added, and with Pakistan's increasingly resembling a train wreck in slow motion, it's also irresponsible and dangerous. The current confrontation badly needs a political resolution. The Human Rights Commission of Pakistan called for political introspection, demanding that the government and the PTI enter purposeful political dialogue. HRCP demands that the government and the opposition, the PTI, immediately enter a purposeful political dialogue, both on the floor of the House and between different political parties, it said in a statement. And there's also been a comment from Donald Trump's former Director of National Intelligence, Release Imran Khan. Richard Grenfell, who served as Trump's Director of National Intelligence and is reportedly being considered to lead Russia-Ukraine peace talks in the next administration, has posted on X. He shared a Bloomberg report on the PTI protests. Well, that's all for this update. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Muslim Viewpoint. If you appreciate our public service journalism, please consider supporting our non-profit registered 501c3 by following us on social media at American Muslim Today or donating by visiting our website, americanmuslimtoday.com. And before you go, please be sure to hit the subscribe button.